the solid principles. First of all, the single responsibility stands for the S in solid, and it means that a class should have only one reason for change. Vice versa, this means it should only have one responsibility. And this is important because if you uh, put too much responsibility in a class, this um, ultimately uh, is an anti-pattern, which is called God class, and which is one class for the whole application, which does everything. And every time you have to change something, you have to change the source code of this one class, you have to compile the whole class again, and every dependency um, it has to be recompiled. And yeah, this this class will get a few thousand lines if you don't if you don't take care, and nobody can understand it because nobody knows how how which methods are called by by which and so on. So single responsibility tries to keep the class small and to give them only one reason, one responsibility. Um, why they have to be changed. The next principle is the open-closed principle. So you should be able to extend the class's behavior without modifying it. What does this mean? So actually, um, it means that you don't have to change the source code at all. So single responsibility told us we only uh, should have one reason to change a class and open closed means uh, this reason to change the source code of the class should be somehow um, delegated to someone else. So maybe we can, write, uh, we can write the class in a way that we don't have to change it at all. Maybe we can configure it how we want it to be. Maybe we can use dependency injection to to um, change its actual yeah, behavior. Maybe we can use design patterns like the strategy to change its behavior or the adapter or some other things. So we want to be able to, ex uh, to, to modify it without uh, to, or to extend it without modifying it. So also inheritance would be a solution for the open-close principle. Then Liskov substitution so derived classes should be substitutable for the base classes. So this is in every object-oriented uh, language. This is, yeah, this is this is free. This is given by default by uh, some language definition itself. So um, if you derive some some class from each other, uh, they should be substitutable by each other. So I should be able to um, whenever I want to have a base class um, that I can use a child class for this. Also for interfaces. When I define interfaces, um, I should be able to supply every class which define, which implements this interface for the required interface definition. Then interface segregation is the I in the solid principles. And the idea behind it is that we should make interfaces as small as possible, as fine-grained, and we should interfaces make client-specific. Um, with interface, now not only the, the actual interface uh, type is meant or the interface um, um, concept, but also the classes. What, are, what is the public interface of classes? So we should make this public interface as small as possible and as specific as possible for the client. So then it's easier to apply, easier to use. And the client does not have to be always a, an end client. This Sometimes this is another developer. Developer, sorry. Okay. And the D for dependency inversion uh, stands for uh, for the D in the solid principle. Sorry, this stands for dependency inversion. So we should not um, depend upon concrete implementations because they are difficult to change. So whenever I depend on a concrete implementation, um, I have to have the source code. I have to have somehow the the access to this implementation, and yeah. 
it's difficult to change it. So if I depend upon the abstraction, so an abstract class or an interface, then it's much easier to change this, this um, object underneath. So I'm more flexible there. Okay. Mm, so to just summarize this up, so SOLID stands for single responsibility and it's about doing one thing and one thing very well. This results in giving it only one reason for change. So having a Swiss army knife like this should not be. This is not a single responsibility pattern. This would be the God class. Cross this out, does it work? Yes. So we should not use this kind. We should use single tools for single purposes. Then the open close principle. We should open, be open for extension and closed for modification. We should embrace change. This is also um, uh, an agile mantra. We should embrace that things in projects are changing. And that's why we should be able to, to change it in the future. So something like this. The next principle would be the Liskov substitution principle. So um, derived classes can stand in for base classes. So when you think of beer, you could exchange the beers. Of course, some, some are better, some are not that good, and there are uh, individual tastes. But actually, you could substitute every beer by every beer. The next is interface segregation. So we should make our interfaces fine-grained and client-specific. So if you look at these two interfaces, these are actual interfaces, one of the Tesla and one of an airplane. So they should be client-specific and yeah, as fine-grained as they can be. The last principle of SOLID is the dependency inversion principle. We should depend upon abstractions and not concrete implementations. So like yeah, the normal plug for electricity, which is an abstraction for the actual working underneath that we have to have yeah, three cables connected in, the, in an appropriate way to each other. And it should not be done like in this picture. <laughs> 